Hello, welcome to Radiant Resilience. In this video, I'm going to show you some really gentle ways of releasing tension in the neck and maybe increase your ability or mobility to be able to turn your head from side to side. We all need to be able to look over our shoulders, especially if you're driving without um, hurting yourself. And um, sometimes that can get really, really tight. So the first thing we're gonna do is just check in with how your mobility is. So you're gonna soon turn your head to the right. Notice how far you're able to turn your head and notice it, how it feels. Does it feel easy or do you feel like it's catching somewhere or pulling or there's tightness in a certain spot? And then come back to center. And then we're gonna go to the other side. Same thing, just kind of notice what you're feeling. And then come to the other side or come to center. So once you've done that, did one side feel like it um, was a little tighter or maybe you felt some tugging? Um, that's the side we're gonna work first, okay? So if you felt like there wasn't a difference, you can just choose one side. My right side is feeling much tighter. So this is the side I'm gonna focus on and just make sure that you're focusing on the side that felt tighter for you. So the first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna just gonna release the front of the neck and we're gonna do both sides for this one. So you're gonna take your um, hand and find that spot halfway between the front of your throat and the side of your neck. So if you just slide to about halfway, you feel this little um, channel that's in between that big neck muscle and the front of your throat. So you're going to go right in there with your four fingers and you're just going to gently push in. So make sure you're not doing like a claw. You're going to do more of the pads of your fingers. You're just going to push in a little bit and then you're going to pull to the side, the opposite side. From there, turn your head towards the side that your hand is on. So you're going to pull the neck to this side as you turn your head to the other side. And then relax, and we'll do that again. Come back. And relax, and we'll do that again. Breathe. And release. Okay, we're gonna do the other side, so now you're gonna take your opposite hand, cross the neck, find that little spot in between the, all the way to the side and to the front. And then you're gonna pull it, Push in and pull towards the arm that's doing the work and then turn your head away from that arm or towards the direct the side where your hand is. So in other words, you're pulling the neck one direction as you're turning the head the other way. And you'll do that three times. And then let go. Okay, now we're going to do a little um, a little work with that shoulder. So we're gonna take that arm up, thumb pointing up. So whatever side was tighter is the arm you're gonna do. Take that arm up, and then you're just gonna pivot the arm down and up. So you're just pivoting through the arm, and the shoulder's pretty stationary right now. You're just doing some rotation right here. The thumb turns inward and down, and then it comes back up, okay? Now we're gonna make this motion a little bigger so that it rolls so far in that your shoulder lifts. So you're gonna roll the shoulder, the thumb in, down, and keep going until you feel that shoulder lift. And I want your shoulder to touch your face. So if it means you have to tilt your head a little bit to get the shoulder to touch the face, do that and then come down. I have to, and we'll just do that a few, few more times. Roll it in and release it. And in, release, one more time, roll it in, and release, good, and then shake it out. So I should have mentioned you can do the sitting, you can also do the standing. We are going to do something that comes up to standing in just a moment. Okay, now, and but you could do it seated as well. Now we're going to bring the hands out, whatever your tight side was, is gonna be the top arm. So you're gonna cross the wrist, tight side on top, 
and then turn the wrists or the hands so that your palms come together, thumbs are down. And you can have a little bend in your arms if you need to. And then we're gonna bring the arms down. Now, we're gonna do that same action with your tight side arm, roll it in, and your hands kind of pivot to help with that roll. Turn it in and release. So it's like your hands twist and then the shoulder lifts. Face touches the shoulder and release. And again, roll it in and release. And then come up to about shoulder height. Make sure you're not going higher than the shoulders. Roll it in, release, and bring it in, release. One more time, bring it in and release. Good, release the arms, shake them out. Now this is where we're gonna come to standing. Now if you need to stay seated in a chair, you can do that. Okay, so now we're gonna do that same, same thing, arms out, tight side on top, come back to this. And then we're gonna bring the arms right next to our body and do a little bit of that rolling in. So you're gonna roll the shoulder in by twisting the hands and then keep the arms attached to your torso as you swing your, or do some circles with your hips. Now, if you are seated, if you're, if standing won't work for you, you're gonna stay seated and just kind of lean forward and do your arms like this, but with that still rolling in of your shoulder, like that, okay? Or this. Okay, and then come on back, let your shoulders drop down, and it, whether you're seated or standing, you're gonna just lift your heels up and pound them onto the floor twice, fast. Bump, 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 bump. And we're gonna do that several times, bump, 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 bump. And you want that little pounding on the heels. Okay, one more. Okay, now we're gonna keep that action, that motion, but we're gonna bring the arms up. So you want your face to touch that tight side shoulder by rolling in just as far as you can go. If you need to be more forward or you need arms bent, adjust to work for you. And then we're gonna do some, like you're trying to do circles with your hands and you can let your ribs kind of move too. And then go the other direction. And then pause right here and we'll do those heel taps again. Bump, 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 bump. Good, last one, and then relax the arms, give them a little shake. You can come back to seated or you can stay standing. Drop your hands down, sit tall, and now we're gonna turn our head to the side that felt tight and see if you get any more range of motion out of this movement or if that tight area feels softer. Good. And then come center. Now let's look over the other side and see. Maybe this side feels like it's behind after you've done the release on the um, on the tight side. Maybe now the side that felt more open is feeling tighter. So if that's the case, you're going to rewind this video, start back at the beginning, and work your other side. That's it. Easy, um, gentle, and effective. Let me know how this video worked for you in the comments or if you have requests for future videos future topics and also make sure you like this video if it was helpful and subscribe to my channel if you'd like to be notified when i post new videos thank you have a wonderful rest of your day and i'll see you next time